Good morning, everybody. A little after midnight. It is now Saturday morning, and you are in the midst of what perhaps will be one of the greatest winter storms of our lifetime. Certainly, it looks like this will be the greatest winter storm on record in this country. The center is now moving inland here across the Florida panhandle. The actual center will track across South Georgia. Heavy snow falling in the Birmingham area north of the center. A major and violent tornado outbreak going on in Florida south of the center. And this is a storm of historic proportion. A couple of notes before we go out to Kevin Collins, who's out in this mess. Uh, the Birmingham Airport observation, extremely interesting. Their last observation, a thunder snowstorm along with blowing snow and fog. Visibility one quarter mile and a temperature of 32 degrees. Mobile, Mobile, Alabama right now with a thunder snowstorm. That's the first time that has ever been recorded there. Mobile now with one inch of snow on the ground. By the way, you probably noticed on our first warning map, uh, a number of new counties have been added to the uh, uh, heavy snow warning that's been in effect for us all night. The counties go all the way down to uh, almost the Gulf Coast. This would include Marengo County, those of you in Demopolis and Linden and Sweetwater. So southwest Alabama now under a heavy snow warning as well. Uh, I'm sure you heard us earlier this evening. Uh, Governor Hunt has now proclaimed a state of emergency in Alabama because of the storm. And locally, the Birmingham Jefferson Emergency Management Agency, there they have declared a state of emergency as well. The big problem right now, the wind and the thick, wet snow knocking down trees onto power lines. And right now, at least, at least 20,000 people are currently without electricity. And that number will probably rise as the brunt of this storm hits us between now and about 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, let's go out in it. It's a blizzard out there. And Kevin Collins will do his best to share with you what he's experiencing right now. Kevin? OK, James, thanks very much. We're really reaching and have reached danger proportions here. You need not go outside at this point in time. Now, I'm standing outside, obviously, but I'm right next to the door and can come right back inside. The winds are gusting to 45 miles an hour here on top of Red Mountain. Now, with the blowing snow, that makes it very, very difficult to see. If you go out and get too far away from your home or wherever you may be, you could very easily become disoriented. The snow is blowing around, making visibility very, very difficult. The wind is also creating a very, very dangerous wind chill. It feels like minus three degrees out here when you get a good wind gust going up to 20 or 30 miles per hour. When it gusts into the 40s, we're getting wind chill factors down to 10 below, even possibly 15 below. That becomes very dangerous because it becomes hard to breathe. I can feel it right now. I'm having trouble breathing just because the air is so cold. The wind is blowing so hard. It just takes the breath right out of you. Also creating wind. Uh, the wind is creating drifts in the snow. I'm going to try and work my way back across the parking lot here at Channel 6. I've got a two-foot measuring stick here with me. I'm going to try and get it down into the snow. And it goes downward about... The snow drift here is probably about 26 inches. That's over two feet. Now we're looking at snow totals around the Birmingham area so far, anywhere from four to six inches, possibly in some spots seeing seven thus far. And we've still got a long way to go, several more hours of snow. If, you're gonna, if you find yourself in your home and you think the power may go out, if you've not lost the power yet, it may. Uh, transformers are blowing up all over the area. Power, we will keep you posted. I'm going to come back inside now. So James, we'll throw it back to you in the studio. Kevin, absolutely unbelievable. I, I have been uh, forecasting the weather here in uh, Birmingham and North Alabama going back to the late 70s. I've never seen anything like this. And uh, perhaps you're tired of hearing us talk about this, but from a meteorological standpoint, this storm is absolutely incredible, all the way from the, the uh, pressure in the center of the storm to the dynamics and the snow and the severe weather. Uh, this uh, will be one that will be talked about for a long time. Uh, the, the National Meteorological Center is calling this an unprecedented, life-threatening storm, and certainly it's easy to understand why. Let me talk about these maps for a few moments. Now, again, this is a radar composite. This is Birmingham. We're in the snow. You go down here in the warm sector, and right here, uh, this is around Tampa. Uh, they've had a rash of violent tornadoes. In the community of Chiefland, Florida, which is uh, in this area north of Tampa, at least three people have been killed. Uh, we're getting more and more reports of extensive damage and injuries now from central Florida. Uh, winds in Tampa gusting to uh, uh, 95 miles per hour. Here's a closer look at Florida, and this will be whipping across central Florida for the next couple of hours. Damage, straight-line wind damage in Tampa. And uh, if you can hear that, uh, we've had a tremendous 
a lightning crash uh, outside the station here, part of this thunder snowstorm we are experiencing. And again, that's a sign of how strong this storm is. Just absolutely unbelievable. Here's a national perspective, and you can see how the, the uh, rain is wrapped. And, and uh, again, just a major storm. Okay, Kevin just told me that the, the lowest pressure right now is near Tallahassee, Florida, right here. So the actual center has now moved 80 miles per hour here at the Doppler 6 Weather Center. And the current temperature is now 29 degrees. And uh, the wind chill is now 10 degrees below zero. It's an incredible storm. It's a blizzard now in the Birmingham area. We'll be back with another live update. In the automobile there, perhaps if there are some people out driving on the roadways, if you find that you are stranded in your car or you find that you can't go farther, any farther than you'd like to go, some things to think about in your car. Try and save as much gasoline as you can. Don't leave the car running, but what you need to do, turn it on every now and then, let the heater run, and let the inside of the car warm up a little bit. Now, if you're going to turn the engine on, something to be concerned about is the snow piling up around the car and especially the exhaust pipe. What you would have to do, again, this is for people listening perhaps on their car radios, on the FM dial, you can hear the audio portion of Channel 6, 87.7. What you need to do is be very aware of the tailpipe. You don't want that to get filled with snow. You don't want any of the exhaust, the carbon monoxide gas, to get back into the car. So you need to get out of the car and keep that area around the tailpipe clean so that you can run the car a few minutes at a time to keep the heat going. If you can, if you have an antenna on the car or at least something on the top of the car, a luggage rack, try and tie some sort of a brightly colored, uh, maybe a scarf or uh, anything bright colored on the top of the car so that in case you are caught in a snow drift, then you, can, you have a better chance of being seen by crews that are out and then these plows that will come around later in the, in the evening towards the morning hours as well. A note from Alabama Power. Power lines are going down all over the area. I believe the figure up to 28,000 people without power right now. If you see power lines down in your area, stay away from them. Assume that all power lines are still hot and consequently very, very dangerous. Do try and call in the information to the power company. The phones will be busy, but they ask that you keep trying. They know a lot of calls are coming in, but they want to know where the power lines are going down. So do try and call into Alabama Power if you have power lines down in your area, if you see them. If your power is out, they are working to restore that. Blizzard conditions in the Birmingham area right now, a very, very dangerous situation. Stay indoors wherever you are. James, we'll go back to you in the studio now. Okay, Kevin, hang on to that hat. And again, uh, our engineers are making a valiant effort to keep us on the air. If you are inside, I'm not so sure you know just how bad this storm is. While Kevin was outside watching the anemometer in the office here, we had a wind gust of 52, 52 miles per hour. Uh, the current temperature now at 29 degrees. That puts our wind chill values in the 20 below zero range. Uh, let's talk weather very quickly. Uh, I know that many of you are concerned right now. This is the, the brunt of the storm. We've been talking about this thing all week long. We started talking about it uh, um, late Monday and really emphasizing it Tuesday. This is the main part of the storm. Uh, between now and about 3 o'clock in the morning, northeast, a raging blizzard for the Atlantic coast. Now the problem is the wind will continue all day long. Uh, hits near the tower and we're flashing on and off the air. We are still uh, on the air, I think, as we speak. Uh, okay, we are on the air, but, but again, uh, even though the snow will taper off uh, toward the uh, dawn hours, the wind will continue all day. Wind chill values all day today will be in the 20 below zero range at times, and we're going to have snow and drifting snow. Even though the snow will stop falling from the sky, we could have what we call a ground blizzard. That's where you have just a whiteout based on the snow that's already there. Uh, snow accumulations in Birmingham, we probably have six, seven, maybe eight inches on the ground in spots. Uh, we're going to wind up with uh, amounts around one foot now, I think, in many areas. Some of the mountainous uh, folks, uh, mountainous locations northeast of Birmingham could receive up to 18 inches from this big storm. It's snowing all the way down to Mobile. Right now they have one inch on the ground. They have, they've had thunder snowstorms like we've had all night tonight. First time that's ever been seen in Mobile. A heavy snow warning now all the way through southwest Alabama. And a 
Pro Advisory, uh, now in effect for parts of central Alabama. Now, let's share a couple of other things about this big storm as we are still making efforts to stay on the air. We are on the air, I think. Uh, this is central Florida, down in the warm sector of this storm, a violent tornado outbreak tonight. A line of severe thunderstorms now from right at DAB, that's Daytona Beach in Volusia County, running down through Orlando and the uh, Kissimmee, uh, Kissimmee areas, uh, then uh, approaching Fort Myers. Numerous tornadoes in here tonight. So far, at least three confirmed.